Have you ever had bleeding under the white part of your eye like this? Maybe you got poked in the eye or sneezed very hard, or maybe you just showed up in the mirror one morning. If you or someone you know has had bleeding in the eye, they might have a subconjunctival hemorrhage. Hello, I'm Dr. Audrey Tai, a board certified and fellowship trained refractive and cataract surgeon, an ophthalmologist, and cornea specialist. And today, I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know about subconjunctival hemorrhage, including what causes it, what to do about it, and when you need to worry. So let's jump right into it by explaining what you're looking at. If you see a red patch on the white part of the eye like this, you probably have a subconjunctival hemorrhage. Subconjunctival means under the conjunctiva, and hemorrhage just means bleeding. The conjunctiva is the clear layer of tissue that lays on top of the white part of the eye, the sclera. It happens because something caused the broken blood vessels underneath the conjunctiva. The bleeding that you see is just like a bruise on your arm or shin or elsewhere on your body. Bruises are all just broken blood vessels underneath the skin. Because the conjunctiva is nice and clear, you can really see the red color, unlike bruises on your shin. Subconjunctival hemorrhage can be scary, but the good news is that it is usually a harmless condition that should not be painful or affect your vision. It can, however, be a sign that something else is wrong in your body. So let's get into the causes of subconjunctival hemorrhage. The number one reason for subconjunctival hemorrhage is perhaps a little bit obvious, and that is trauma to the eye. If, for example, you get poked in the eye or hit with a tennis ball, the force applied causes blood vessels underneath the conjunctiva to break and cause bleeding. That is why if you participate in sports or work that could cause eye injury, it is very important to wear your protective eyewear. You can also develop a subconjunctival hemorrhage from sneezing, straining too hard, coughing, or even rubbing your eyes. Sometimes bleeding into the eye can be caused by certain medications such as aspirin, Plavix, Coumadin, and Pridexa, just to name a few. Some of these medications, such as aspirin, interferes with the blood clotting effect of platelets in your blood. Other medications, such as Coumadin, interfere with the normal function of the clotting factors in the blood. Both types of medications can cause or worsen bleeding. In other cases, bleeding the subconjunctival space can be caused by certain medical conditions, such as diabetes, high cholesterol, hemophilia, von Willebrand, or autoimmune disorders. Hemophilia is a deficiency or disorder of certain blood clotting factors, usually numbers 8 and 9. And von Willebrand disease is a deficiency or disorder of a substance called von Willebrand's factor, which assists the blood clotting factors to clot, specifically factor number 7. High blood pressure, high cholesterol, and diabetes all cause the blood vessels to become more fragile over time, and this makes them more susceptible to bleeding. Of these, the medical condition that people usually think of when think of a bleeding in the eye is high blood pressure or hypertension. If your blood vessels are subjected to higher pressure, they are more likely to fail and have some bleeding. This is true both in people who have blood pressure that is high all the time and also true for sudden unexpected increases in blood pressure, such as coughing, sneezing, vomiting, or straining. In addition to those more common causes, bleeding the eye can occasionally be a sign of a much more rare condition, such as hemochromatosis, fosis sarcoma, pyogenic granuloma, or telangiectasia. That is why I usually recommend getting an evaluation by your eye doctor if you develop bleeding in the eye, particularly if it is unexpected or unexplained. So how do you treat subconjunctival hemorrhage and how can you reduce your risk of developing one in the first place? Well, the good news is that most subconjunctival hemorrhage do not require any special treatment. Perhaps the most important thing is to reduce your risk of developing one in the first place. As I mentioned before, wearing protective eyewear can reduce your risk and make sure that you work with your doctor to treat and control any underlying medical issues that could contribute, such as high blood pressure or diabetes. If you do develop a subconjunctival hemorrhage, you can apply a cool compress to affected eye to help reduce swelling and alleviate any discomfort. Avoid coughing, sneezing, or straining. If you are safely able to, avoiding taking aspirin or other blood thinning medications can help prevent further bleeding. Always speak with your physician before making any medication changes. 
And remember that in rare cases, the bleeding can be caused by serious underlying condition, such as a blood disorder. So if you are concerned, always see your doctor if you develop conjunctival hemorrhage. In particular, be sure to seek medical attention if you develop any symptoms such as pain or vision changes or discharge from the eye. If the bleeding does not resolve on its own, usually within two weeks. Well, that's it for this week's video. If you have learned something new, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to my channel to support more informative content on eye health and surgery. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn at Dr. Audrey Tai to learn more about my practice. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.